I want to I want to kind of talk about a, a really different aspect of what you do. How many cameras did you go through as a as a photographer? I mean, I I, I mean, you know, we've got weapons being thrown down, but they're made so well that you can pick them back up and keep going. But when you drop a camera, it's a little more sensitive. Oh yeah, yeah. I've gone through quite a quite a few cameras. Um, the one blast that we were in um it was sitting on top of a cooler and a humvee and the blast uh you know oh, shook everything so much it it flipped the cooler top up and then landed in the cooler water thank god the film was okay um oh so you're still using it, regular i film. call film but the digital card okay okay yeah. okay so thank god the card the camera was gone but uh yeah it's cameras like a screwdriver right i mean they're gonna get old and dull Sure. And, uh, of course, I've dropped a few, and yeah, yeah, you go through them. So, did you have a budget for that? Did you just? I do now. Now that I'm out. Well, right? now that you're out, but I'm talking about when you're in the when you're in the Air Force doing this. I mean, it's. I mean, I'm sure there's not an endless supply. Yeah, there kind of is in the Air Force okay. and at my unit. Well, there, that's true. Yeah, you guys, y'all, y'all build <laughs> yeah. y'all build golf courses before absolutely. runways. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So. So yes, there, there's definitely a lot, and and again, it's it's just like anything else. It's it's gear, and you got to make sure that you have supply, and it's going to go through. You know what we call combat losses, right? Um, you drop something, or you're in a firefight, whatever. Some things happen. So yeah, we we definitely we have enough. And I'd always, you know, bring three. So you have two. I constantly have two cameras on one on each shoulder. And were they different the types of cameras, though, or were they just backups? Same cameras. So anytime I go out, even most of the most time, even to this day, I'm kind of getting older and slower. So, But when I'm shooting photojournalistically, um, I have two cameras. One's with a wide-angle lens okay. and one's with a longer lens. So I don't have to stop and... And sure. change lenses, and and especially in a combat situation, you know, you just drop one camera down, pull up the other one to get closer. You know, longer lens. So, so as a very novice photographer, and I, you know, I I've got a, you know, I've I've had SLR, you know, cameras uh, for years, um, but I think even. All right, let me back up and ask this another way. How do you keep your cameras set? Because for someone who doesn't, I mean, you know, nowadays most everybody just, you know, point their iPhone and click. But a true SLR camera, yeah, there's an auto mode uh, on on even the best cameras now. But I'm pretty sure you weren't using the auto mode. You were you were setting aperture and and everything else to to get, I mean, because the lighting on some of your photos, man, I got to tell you, unbelievable. Thank you. Light, lighting, think about it. Lighting in a photograph creates the mood. Yes. Right? So that kind of shows you the mood. And we all see it. Um, some Sometimes there's ways to manipulate it to make it a little stronger. Like, I'm just going to make it a little dark. You can see a shadow on my face right now. Mm-hmm. Well, if I just go higher shutter speed, you know, it'll darken it down. Right. Make it a little more dramatic. Um. But honestly, my friends, any 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 of my friends, especially my mentors and military friends, they will sit there and laugh when you talk about me and technology. It is amazing that I can push a button because I I literally take the camera out of the box and I shoot it um, out of the box. Shoot it on manual. I m- make myself move. You know, the shutter speed and the aperture, if you're familiar with cameras, mm-hmm. to to get the exposure. So and my, my friends just think that's crazy. But again, it's like a Marine or a soldier with, with their weapon. They're going to know that thing inside now, right? right? Or a mechanic with his toolbox. They're going to know it. So that's, that's kind of how I am with, with my camera. So how many times are you clicking the shutter until you get one picture that you like it's it it depends (laughs) well it it it, 
it depends on the situation, right? So it depends on what you're doing. Um, action, you know, you're, you're shooting a lot more frames. Mm -hmm. But one of the greatest things that was taught to me was every time I pull that camera up to my face, you fill the frame. So that means putting whatever you want the viewer to see in that frame. Right. Control the background. So I don't want holes coming out of your head, whether it's with F-stops or whatever. And wait for the moment. That waiting for the moment is the biggest key. So every time you think a young photographer, every time, and I teach this, every time you pull, pull that camera up, fill the frame, control the background, wait for the moment. You so that's like, you, that that's like every, your three-step process. Yeah, every time okay. you put that camera up to your eye, you, tell, you, you remind yourself that. Soon you'll be sitting there, your mind will already fill the frame, control the background. It's already done. You're just sitting there waiting for the moment. And waiting for the moment is, you know, I'm going to, it's like me sitting here right now. I'm photographing you. Pop, pop, pop. And then you're going to maybe turn, adjust. It's watching your body language, watching your eyes, mm. seeing how you're moving, how you're twitching, how you're smiling um, to kind of, kind of sense what's going on. And then, you know, again, eventually you'll. So you're really studying people and scenarios. Absolutely. You're not just going out snapping. No. No, it, no, it, you do watch it. You know, when you first get into a scene, like if I just first came into the studio, like I'm going to kind of get the essential first kind of shots, right. but then it's, you guys know I'm here and it's, it's about becoming that fly in the wall. You guys, you know, being able to work and, and be personable, you know, taking the pictures, you know, only. 50% of the equation. I mean, it's, it's getting the access, it's getting your trust. Um, there's so much more, so much oh, more. Oh yeah. And that's, that's why I was curious about that because it, it's, I mean, you got to go through a whole lot of attempts to get the one that you want. Um, I mean, yeah. And that whole time I'm, I'm popping and, and waiting to, yeah. Did I get it? I don't know. Maybe I could tweak it a little bit here or there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question that that may expose you in some way. I, that's two really. I, I didn't even mean to use uh, uh, words like that. But are you? Do you ever? Are any of these pictures ever manipulated after the fact? And maybe that's not a good choice of words. No, that's a great choice. But we we have a we have a, an advantage in today's society. Uh, with our technology to play with the actual photograph to make it look different than it, than it was and better. So again, with my success in the military, you know, you always have haters and they're like, Oh, he manipulates his images and right. Which I don't, I a hundred percent try to shoot it as it is in the camera. You know, sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, did they accuse you of manipulating the scene no, never or the, the scene. color, not like the colors and the things like that. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll bring back a story on manipulating colors and stuff. So all I do is try to get it right in the camera. I kind of shoot a little bit darker, um, because once you, you can pull shadows, but you can't, once highlights are gone, your whites are white, right? Mm -hmm. You can't, but blacks, I can pull a little bit out. So and shooting darker makes it a little richer, too, in colors. All I do with my photos is lighten or darken them and then pop a little contrast. Okay. That's 100% it. People are like, oh, my God, he must do so much. It is really all I do. 